yes, finally, we get to take a look at the Flux Max from FKIN. Welcome back to the channel, and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the notification button and everything to keep up to date with everything that we do. We really do appreciate it. It does help our channel grow. It allows us to do cool things like unboxings, reviews, and also allows us to be able to do giveaways. This is not a sponsored video, but FKIN did supply me this machine free of charge so I can talk to you about it and do a comparison and try it out and everything and yeah well this is what it is so first things first we are going to take I've done some tattooing with it and we're going to go through the specs of this machine this is the flux max it's 1319 pounds and 99 pence it comes with two powerbolt mark twos a usb plug and a charging cable upgraded hardware and software it also displays power in hertz and volts is compatible with the kill switch has a session timer and the option to change the screen orientation okay so the flux max comes in three different stroke lengths and it's 3.2 4.0 and 4.5 which is the one that i have here one other thing i'd like to add is the flux max is compatible with all your other fdins flux or exos so just like the flux the flux max has got direct power path management and that just basically gives you nice clean consistent power output from the power bolt finally they've got the digital display they've got the inbuilt digital display menu which is just easier than looking at a flashing light the electronic give is slightly different on this one they've improved it they've listened to customer feedback and user feedback from people like myself and or from all you guys and they've now changed the electronic give system so rather than having five levels of give they've got three levels of electronic give they say on the website that it has up to 10 hours battery life this is all depending on how fast you run your machine and what your stroke length is. So 10 hours battery life would probably be running your machine at the lowest voltage possible to have the least amount of power consumption coming from the battery. When you first use your machine, make sure you charge it for three hours and then you will notice that the first maybe few times, I don't know, let's just say the first four or five times you may notice that the battery life is going to be very very low that is basically because the onboard algorithms and the and whatnot is working out how you run your machine it works out uh, the tension of your cartridges and, and and your charging cycles to optimize the battery consumption so a lot of people that so far i've seen online and have messaged me directly saying that they they're getting really crap battery life you may notice a difference after you've been using it for a while. I've noticed that the first few times I used it, I got like three hours, maybe three and a half hours from it. And then I start again more five to six hours, which I think is reasonable when you're running a 4.5 mil stroke at around about eight volts. Like five to six hours is a decent amount of time for me to, to use one battery. That means I'll just like one battery per session does, does, does me good. The power supply on this one, which is, going to be different to the previous one allows you now to run your machine from 4 volts up to 12. So if you want to do really nice stipple shading, especially with a 4.5 mil stroke, you can do that using this at 4 volts and it does get a really nice textured effect when you're tattooing. Well, I've noticed anyway. The conversion as well for the 4 to 12 volts is 66 to 199 boots. Now what FKINs have also said is that the new Powerball 2 has a state of the art motherboard now they did mention that they've completely upgraded the internal hardware and the software on the powerball to make it a lot better than the previous models and you also have the ability to connect it to their wireless bluetooth foot switch which is called the kill switch so you can have a foot switch with this which is pretty cool actually so one other change that they've made to this which i think absolutely needed to be done it is the thread now if you look at the one of the videos i made previously which is one year later with the flux i said that the way i run my machine i like to have very little needle hanging up when i'm doing black and gray um especially if, I'm doing, if i want to get that really smooth black and gray where i multi-layer it and i wasn't able to do that with the flux because i wasn't able to have that needle or that grip kind of twisted all the way down to have the needle protrusion really really minimal and it would wobble and it would be teetering on the edge of almost the grip falling off so it looks like maybe because they've got a 4.5 mil stroke on there that they've taken that into consideration and they've now extended the grip thread. Boosh, there we go. So you can see it's a little bit dipped in. That is a little bit longer. 
which means that you, if you've got a four mil stroke, you can really have very minimal needle hanging out and you can do some really smooth black and gray with it. Um, everyone has different techniques. That's just the one of the techniques I like to use for black and gray, but I absolutely welcome that. So that is the specs of this machine. And yeah, it is a lot different to the other one. It, it looks the same a little bit. Obviously there are like cosmetic differences, like the grip is slightly different. It's, I think it's a little bit better designed than the EXO grip. It, it does feel like it's a lot more ergonomic. You know, it is room for your, th it, it just sits nice in your hand. But the other one was ergonomic as well, but this is just a little bit sleeker, a little bit more minimal, less clunky. I feel like it's that right kind of, right balance of the original flux and the exo so yeah the, that's the, the, the first initial difference using the machine it was very comfortable to use it was easy to get used to lining with the machine i like again this is a 4.5 mil machine so i got this because at the time when they got in touch with me i hadn't used the 4.5 and i wanted to try it out and see what it was like the lining so lining with this machine is really really nice you can push lines in from anything from a three liner right up to a 21 open liner. Uh, it, it, it can, it really does put lines in very, very efficiently and very, very nice. It's very smooth and very easy to use. And with the balance of it, you, you don't really get any wobble. It's, it's, it is comfortable. I've enjoyed using it for line work. So putting color in, really easy. Put it in effortlessly, no issues at all. Uh, everything from doing that kind of like trad style work where you've got the machine running quite low to get that really nice stipple shading, right up to having it kind of like very little needle hanging out to get that really nice smooth color blending and it actually i was quite surprised that it layers colors really really well for a 4.5 millimeter stroke machine black and gray shading i was able to do some really nice black and gray shading with it again depending on your style just the ability to have very little needle hanging out you can have anything from like that really smooth black and gray where you have the machine running quite fast especially if your hand speed is quite fast or you can have you know, that nice stipple kind of like running the machine low. So it's, again, it's quite a versatile machine regardless of if it's at four mil or 4.5. I was quite shocked at how many different styles of tattooing I was able to do with a 4.5 millimeter stroke uh, without v much issues at all. Uh, and so far everything has been coming back and healed very, very nicely. So wrapping the machine, it's if you've used the flux, it is just like using the flux, very easy to wrap. That is quite visible through any, so as long as you haven't got like the jet black kind of clipboard sleeves. If you've got a, a see-through clipboard sleeve, whether it's blue or clear or whatever, or green, you'll be able to see that through no problem. If you don't know how to wrap a flux, I've got a video somewhere on our playlist which shows you how I wrap it and now I feel it's the best way to wrap a flux. But yeah, easy to wrap. So I think if you like the flux, you will like the Flux Max and you will get on with the Flux Max. It's one of those machines that I think is very easy to get used to using. Now, on purpose, I didn't use a Flux for about a month or two, just so I can try and go into this with like a fresh head uh, and have that kind of like, you know, having to get used to it again. And I got used to this machine extremely quickly. It was easy to wrap, easy to kind of, it's very easy and intuitive to control. It's an absolute pleasure to use just like the flux was like i was a massive fan of the original flux and i am a, a, a also a fan of this i do like this machine a lot there are a couple of things though that i would like to change on this and i think mainly because i've done a lot of reviews with other machines that i've noticed things and i think that maybe other companies like FK Irons and all the other brands out there could adopt some of these for this. So one of those being, and one of the massive changes I would like to make to this is when they first brought these out, it was a case of if you want a three mil stroke or four mil stroke or a five mil stroke or whatever stroke you want, you had to buy another motor body. And then another brand came out with a wireless tank machine, which we are now able to completely change the stroke length on because you can remove the cam. And if you know what you're doing, and please, before I go any further, don't do this because it will just, it will fuck your warranty up. But if you know what you're doing, you know that this is really easy to take apart. You can take the battery off and there's a piece on the bottom of there. You can unscrew that and you can slide the motor, the motor housing out. Now, what I think would be really good later down the line, maybe in a newer model, is for us then to have the ability to be able to change the cam on the motors ourselves. And also on top of that, be able to 
take it apart and maintain it and clean it because I would like to be able to take that out and remove that so I can really give this a good clean especially if you're somebody that doesn't use a membrane cartridge that would be something that would be I think welcome by a lot of people in the tattoo industry is to be able to access it clean the inside and change the cam rather than having to spend you know a shitload of money on another machine just to try a different stroke length and then have to sell that so I think going backwards in that sense and having us to have the ability to be able to change the cams and maintain the machines even more is something that I think they should do later on down the line or on their next edition or iteration of the flux so that's the first kind of change I would like to see with this the second change is like I really like the the whole click grip the ratchet system I'm a massive fan of the ratchet system the only thing I'm not a fan of with the ratchet system is that this bit is plastic now one of my colleagues has had the flux since it came out and he started noticing that you know for a while now that the the click is not quite there so it does slip every now and then and i did explain that he needs to go and buy a new ratchet like this little plastic bit there uh, but that then if if they haven't got it in stock in the uk for example postage on that is absolutely crazy from the us so it kind of it, is not a viable option and I feel like maybe moving forward if and you know I'm not a massive fan of a lot of the cheap mast dragon fork machines out there but one thing I will say and one thing they have done which and they've done really well is their ratchet system is spot on they've got like these little ball bearings and they work and they don't wear down and I think that is something that FKNs maybe need to go down that avenue and have a look at that type of ratchet system for the future models of the machine. So that's another change I'd like to make. Uh, one other change I would like to make to this machine, and I did say it in my other video, is as much as I like the Powerball 2, I think for me, the main part, like the two main things on this machine that I absolutely love is the fact that the thread is longer and the, the power bolt has got a screen and you can access the menu that way you can see what your voltage is you can see what your battery life is and you can, you've got the timer and everything but the other thing that i think is an absolute must is us being able to have the ability to switch the machine off and by that i mean you can switch it off like you can scroll through the menu switch it off and you put it into travel mode and then to switch it back on you have to plug it into a usb charger which can be annoying for some people i don't mind but i know there are people out there that would find it annoying especially when you do have machines out there that and, and battery packs that you can just switch them off and switch them on and they don't lose battery life that is something i think is a must for this i think allowing us to be able to switch it off and then switch it back on is something that needs to be added. I don't know if we can do it by a firmware update or if they'd have to release something completely new one, but I'm assuming a firmware update would fix that problem because for me, if I forget to put it in travel mode at the end of the day, when I come into work the next day, sometimes the battery life is dead, or especially on a weekend, if I finish work on a Saturday, come in on a Tuesday, the batteries are dead. And that is a bit of an annoyance, so I would love for them to change that so we do have the ability just to switch it off hold and press and switch it off and then switch it on just from there that's something i think definitely needs to be added in the future so all in all i think that this machine is a vast improvement on the original flux it's got a lot of features on there that are needed that should have been there and I think ultimately, like even if you take away all the things that I think they need to be changed, this machine is the machine that the original Flux should have been. If I think if they brought this out, then that would have been a game changer from the day one. Um, so yeah, but I'm glad that they have brought it out and they have made these changes and they, they have made these improvements because it shows as a brand they are evolving. So, but yeah, it's a good machine and I've enjoyed using it. Uh, if there are any, you know if there is anything I've left out pop it in the comments below ask me a question because I have tried to cover most things in this but you know me I forget sometimes so if I have forgotten anything or I've left anything out ask me down below and I'll find out the answers for you but yeah so far so good I've enjoyed using it and yeah I hope you've enjoyed watching this if you have hit that like button hit subscribe hit the notification button and everything to keep up to date with everything that we do we do appreciate it and it does help our channel grow take it easy